This true story is about Carlos Lazama. Jaden and his grandmother stroll through the Caribbean community of Brooklyn. They make a stop at the Lincoln Terrace Park, where Jaden fixes his eyes on a sign, the Carlos Lazama Netball Courts, and inquires about Carlos Lazama. Jaden's grandmother, who knew Carlos Lazama, explains how he grew up on the island of Trinidad, where he enjoyed the steel pan and was introduced to the magic of carnival. From the pan yard to the streets of Brooklyn, New York, Carlos always believed in his dream of traveling and doing something big in his life. By the time he reached adulthood, he traveled to the United States. When he arrived in New York City, he heard about a Caribbean parade in Harlem. This excited Carlos as he journeyed uptown for the big jump up. Carlos was sure to bring along his iron and striker to join the rhythm section of the Harlem All-Stars Steel Band. In 1964, the West Indian Day event moved to Brooklyn, New York and Carlos became involved. In 1968, Carlos was instrumental in obtaining a permit for the carnival to be held along Atlantic and Washington Avenues in Brooklyn. People turned out in numbers, and steel bands and masqueraders celebrated all the way to the Dean Street Armory. Carlos made friends with Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, who represented the 12th Congressional District along Eastern Parkway, where the organizers had hoped to have the parade. With new energy, Plans moved ahead quickly. A parade permit was granted on September 1, 1969, and a Labor Day carnival made its debut along Eastern Parkway, where the annual parade continues to this day. But there was one year that could have easily changed everything. Order your copy of the children's book, Jaden and the King of the Brooklyn Carnival, by Yolanda Lazama Clark, co author Dewald Phillips, and illustrated by David Moore. Learn about Carlos's love for the culture of Trinidad and Tobago, the steel pan, the magic of carnival, and the year that could have easily changed everything.